I'm going through some alcohol ink basics. This is showing different techniques and playing with softness. So hang on tight. Later. Howdy, howdy, everyone. So I decided to do a series of alcohol ink videos related to either supplies or techniques that I use uh, to manipulate uh, the medium. So this one here is going to be about blending with a, like a heat gun or um, a heat iron. And what I'm going to be using today is I've got some Tim Holtz colors. These are uh, eggplant and sandal. And I'll put the colors at the end of the video. And I usually try to do that most of the time anyway, just because you never know what you're gonna be using. And here's another color here from Copic. This is a uh, pale lavender. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be using primarily alcohol and the colors uh, and then my heat. Uh, gun to manipulate and move colors around. So I'm going to show you some Well, let's just get busy and I can talk talk through it. So I'm going to apply some 91% isopropyl alcohol here and I'm just gonna Kind of move it around a little bit just so it's covers an area. I'm not going to worry about covering the whole board for right now so There's a couple things you can do. I'm going to put just a okay I lied. Three drops Boop. of the ink. And I'm going to move it around just by tilting my paper. Not all the time do I do that. But sometimes it just gets it moving. Kind of looks like a pair of glasses with a nose. All right. Now I've got a fair amount of distance on here, and this is on a low setting, so that way it can take its time to evaporate nice and pretty, and you can slowly move it around and get some really soft edges. So I'm gonna bring this in a little closer. So you can see how I've got a really nice soft blends right in this area here. There's no super harsh lines except for this edge here that I wasn't really paying attention to too much and I'm okay with that. But um, a nice soft fade out blend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do alcohol on this edge here and so start to lighten it up in that direction. And you can see how I do that. Kind of got the camera further away than normal, so that way you can see how I'm using this guy. And so the later part of the video, what I'll do is I'll put the camera closer so you can see how it's reacting. All right, so I added alcohol on this side. I'm gonna start moving it around. So I'm pushing it out and then pushing it back in. Pushing it back out and then pushing it back in. Sometimes from a different direction. This helps keep it nice and soft. And then I'm gonna start to move it around in different areas when I like something to finish off the, um, the drying. Let me bring it in a little closer. So you can see how I add the alcohol in here and the heat gun was either pushing the, the air this direction, and then I would turn around and push it back out that direction. So it was kind of a little tug and war thing. And then sometimes I would go in from here, 
So that way I can keep these edges as soft as possible. See, this, this hardly has an edge at all. I don't know if you can see that. What a bad shadow. So hardly any edge to that. This has got a very fine, fine line. So that's, I'm real happy with that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here, just so that you can see me do it again. All right, I'm gonna use my trusty little bottle here and add just a little bit. These things are handy for adding alcohol exactly where you want it. So I'm gonna push the alcohol this way, grab a little bit of that, and then push it back out, and push it in and push it back out. do a little bit more of that. I got this nice little white area I'm not real happy with. And this is a way you can take just a couple of drops and really do something light and it can cover your entire page if you wanted to. If that is an effect you wanted to do. This eggplant is a mixture of several colors and those different colors really come out when you start to manipulate it. So you see how light that got right in there just by manipulating that and going out? All right, I'm gonna bring the camera in a little closer so I'm gonna pause this for a sec. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did here but over in this area here, softening this up. So you'll get to see it closer as far as what's actually going on. But I'm almost wondering if I should bring it in a little bit. Try that. Hopefully I don't block it too much with my hand moving the air gun around too much. Let's see what we can do here. All right, add a little bit of alcohol there. And tug of war gun. alcohol touched some dried ink and reactivated it and so you saw the, the ink wakening up and going Ooh, I'm okay. right. 
So what we're gonna start doing here now is introducing another color. And I'm gonna add some color, I think, here. Let me bring it over a little bit. In this zone here. And start to bring in some alcohol and also blend it back and forth and see what happens. Maybe a little bit more this way. Okay. Do. This is the sandal that I'm adding, and then some drops of alcohol just to wake things up. You see the tug of war with me pushing the color out and then pushing the color back in and pushing the color out. Okay, sometimes when you're working with a lighter color and a really deep color, like this particular eggplant, sometimes it works well to have the heat gun moving in a way that is circulant, a circling, 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 yes, circling the area, okay? And keep in mind that my heat gun is also way above target because it blows rather strong. You can get some that don't blow as strong. Um, so, what I'm doing is pushing the air from different directions going around. And by doing so, you get this little circular pattern here. So I'm gonna show that in another video where I'm just focusing on the circle effect. But for right now, I'm just trying to go from darker to lighter. So let me add a little bit more light to that, or alcohol to that, and see if I can lighten it up even more. be high. We don't want high. I'm trying to push it into that to get rid of that edge a little bit because it wasn't so pretty. To reactivate that alcohol on that edge and then um, get it to play with the alcohol itself and blend out a little bit nicer. Doing a piece like this where you're just playing with the alcohol in your color is a good way to get familiar with how the inks work as far as lighting it lightness and also how the alcohol affects it when you add it.
I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Let me get back down to regular view. Here we go. All right, bear with me for a sec. Okay, let's see if we can get to focus. So that's the area we just worked on and there was a real sharp, kind of an irregular edge to this that wasn't so pretty. And so what I did is I pushed the alcohol into there. It grabbed a little bit of the edge, pulled it back, and you started to see some long lines, and then pushed the alcohol back in, and kind of a, a tug and release, tug and release, kind of a, a push and pull kind of a method. And it got it out, and it got really nice and soft. The edges are pretty, and it just is a little bit more, I guess, visually appealing. So, I mean, this is just a play piece, but it's an easy way to get used to the material. And you saw I didn't use a whole lot of drips of color. Um, and just that little segment there looks really nice. All right. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but more importantly, hit the bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Uh, look for a couple more in this series. Later.